Like, so we thought the shadow man was throwing rocks, but really two spirits are just getting it on. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. It's kind of cool. Seekers, welcome to the show. Sit back, relax, okay, here we go. Like a fuse, it's ignited. This video is based on my opinions on what I see as a paranormal investigator and debunker. If you're a fan of who I'm talking about, no need to be toxic in the comment section because you was fooled. Hello, Seekers. This video is going to be, as you saw, on overnight. Now, there's going to be a few things that I point out throughout the video. The main thing that makes this video has something to do with one of these. This isn't exactly the DR60. This is a QR80. This one was made after the DR60, but that is beside the point. What they catch on their DR60 is incredible. I'm going to point out things during those clips, but stay tuned until the end as I'm going to recreate what they're doing. Let's get on with the show. Wow, that, I just got so close to passing out. This is the first time I've ever genuinely been like, can I get thrown across a room right now? We just wanted to turn our body camera on, and your body camera's cracked? Look. Oh, the whole screen's completely destroyed. What? It's, it's unbelievable. How? Wait, it's not actually... Uh... Okay. At the Hill House. Uh, it's a good thing that they let us know that they are at Hill House. What could have happened to that camera? Are they actually blaming it on the ghost inside the house? Out of all the remaining locations you have asked us to go to, this was pretty much the last one standing. So we're here. Like if something happens to us, there's no one else. There's no camera guy to save us no. and drag us out of the yeah, house. Yeah. We just die. Yeah, yeah. How many times have you heard of a paranormal investigation team dying? If they do die, it's because they didn't have their cameraman. If you think about going out on a paranormal investigation, and if there's a possibility that you might die, just make sure you bring a cameraman. That way he can drag you to safety. Scale of one to 10, how scared are you right now? 11, 11. I'm, I'm gonna be honest, guys. When we first went in there, I had to leave. I'm actually very terrified for tonight. I really am. I look like a ghost right now because of the light. So before we get into the video, if you haven't seen any of Overnight's videos, Elton plays the role of the badass that isn't afraid of anything and he's always trying to amp up activity as much as he can. Corey is the complete opposite. He cries over everything, he's scared of everything, and he always makes it out like he doesn't even want to be there. It's good for entertainment. That's what all this is. Entertainment. I've seen quite a few of Overnight's TFIL videos. Corey knows how to make himself cry. He's good at making his eyes water like he's getting ready to cry. So he does it a lot. Moving on. If you can't see what my face looks like because it's blown out, it's a very happy expression. Yeah. It's like pure joy. Oh, you mean the face that the multiple women that got possessed was making? Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Don't forget the shadow man. Oh, that's right. There's a shadow man. I did no editing to his voice. That was all him. I'm getting the feeling that I had as a little kid growing up. When I would be alone and I knew the shadow man was in my house. Do you remember what we did the last time it was just you and I? There's those watery eyes. What they did the last time they were alone. Probably not YouTube appropriate. Moving on. You don't get the chills as soon as you walk in? Like you don't feel that? I feel excitement when I walk in here. And there's that badass. Now we're gonna be starting in the house finally. I believe it's about 16 minutes in the video before they actually start doing anything inside the house. Keep your eye on Corey. <laughs> Look at this. Dang. What's crazy is not only is the house have its own history, but then there's items everywhere in here. Everywhere. That are. Look, here you go. Immediately, Grace sets off the K2 meter. 
will knock it over too. What? So there's just items in here, kind of like a Warren Museum. Between the house, the spirits, the demonic entities, and then just in general, all of the items. Was that always moving? Nothing else is moving. Nothing else is moving. Dude, that was not moving earlier. Like, I stood right here and stared at his face for a good two minutes earlier because I was so freaked out. Just in case you missed it, let's take a look. All right, so he walks to the back right corner of the room. Dang. I'm gonna show you where the doll is at. What's crazy is not only There's the legs. The Corey's still behind in the back corner. There's items everywhere in here. Everywhere. That are... Look, here you go. Immediately, great. Sets off the K2 meter, will knock it over too. And bam, now he's on the other side of that doll. And you can see that little tiny walkway that he would have had to have gone through. With how high that hat is above his head, it's definitely gonna bump those legs. And looking, you can see the legs swinging before he even points it out. And as you can tell, he is standing directly in front of the doll's feet. Now let's see where he goes from here. His camera view, he backs straight up, turns around. And you can also see in the shadow on the wall from his camera, the legs swinging. Corey did it. There is not one other thing moving. No. Yeah, no shit. Again, haunted dolls everywhere you go mirrors lanterns for all i know the paintings are haunted as well again with more haunted dolls hoodoo and voodoo items i'm one of the most notorious slashers in history and i don't want to give that up i am chucky the killer dog <clears throat> oh my card is full what the f whoa my camera's breaking whoa my camera's breaking What's it doing? I don't know. What's it doing? I don't know. Look, look, all my buttons are like jammed up. And they're like not, my camera's like not working. What? Yeah, I mean, my card stopped. It says it's full, but it's a brand new card in there. It's weird. My camera just keeps like stopping recording. Did it again. Okay, we're back. It kept recording like one second to six second clips. I didn't change anything. So the camera is turning off after it says that the SD card is full. I think there's only one explanation for this yeah it was really weird i didn't like change it did it again what stopped recording again wait can i look yeah movie recording stopped what? again i mean dude it has to be the spirits right of course that's the only thing it could be just to give a crash course on everything that is here all the different areas that we're going to be investigating tonight and all the different tools that we have we just feel like this information is important prior to start. So right off the bat, everything is haunted, uh, demons, possessions, tools, DR-60, ovelus, cat balls, moving on. We're gonna come back up here later. Now we're gonna turn this off. Is there anything you wanna say for now? Nothing, just, that's just something to think about. There you go. Why does that make it scarier? Yeah, we haven't been in this house in silence yet. No. Did you just hear that? A 
Did you hear? I just heard my girlfriend's name. What? 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 Oh. What? They're gonna say like a footstep. Yeah, that's one thing that I can agree with Ellen on. A footstep. I'll play it again a couple times. And out of all things to say, his girlfriend's name makes absolutely no sense. None. To me, it just sounds like, eh, that's it. You heard Devin? Yes. In there. What do you, you heard what? How'd you hear it? Repeat it. I heard someone go, Devin. No. We're not gonna play like that, okay? Toby threw him. Is there any cat balls in here? Yeah, I don't think that we need to really go over the whole cat ball thing. I did a little one-on-one -on -one with Kenny Biddle that explains it really good in my Allegheny video. Moving on. Yeah, that's the painting of Toby. Wait, stop walking? Whoa! That was the same voice. I turned that audio up for you and put on noise reduction. I hear nothing besides a click right before he yells, whoa. And in this whole house, I'm sure there's a hundred things that can make clicking noises. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. What? Devin or devil? Oh my God, that. Did you just hear that knock in there? I'm not even getting into the knock. I left it in just to show you how dramatic they can be over certain stuff. That's got a migraine out of nowhere. I mean, it's not really out of nowhere when you're in a haunted house. Me too. Is that you? Decompose. What? Rob decomposed. But I just heard a breath in my ear. Mm -hmm. I just heard. No, not me. If anybody wants to come play cards, you can just sit right there and uh, let us know you're in here and playing so we can give you some. You good? Well, hello to everyone in this house. Whether you are a trapped spirit here, something beyond. Heard you're rather intelligent here. You can move objects. You can speak clearly. You can scratch people. You can move people. You can harm them. You've even momentarily possessed people. Feel free. Waters. We are directly above a well. Mm -hmm. And it just said water. Yeah, that is actually the well right there. The entrance right there, which is what we're on top of. Yeah. This is what you see a lot of. Words coming over a spirit talker, ovulus, random words, and they find a way to put it into their narrative. But that ovulus didn't say water, it said waters as in plural. And when you say it in plural, I don't really think that they are talking about the liquid water. It kind of sounds like a last name. This is your, your place, your sanctuary, so whatever feels the most comfortable, the most natural to you, you know, whether it's just like a little whisper, hello, a little devil. You know, whatever it is that you want to do, you Stop. know, you want to... You want to turn my back into like an edge of sketch? No. You know, feel free, I'm here. <laughs> You want to like deepen my voice? That'd be cool. You know, like, I kind of have this like weird nasally tone. I got you. Just come take a seat and you can touch that rim pod. You can grab that antenna. Real. And let us know that you're here. Real. I'm gonna move this to the other empty area. Wow, that is so crazy that it is still not going up. Look at that. Enjoy. enjoy. Real enjoy. Also, if you wanted to show us how strong you are, how much power you have, you could push that ball. Holy sh! It just scared the. <laughs> Got it, me, dude. I just wanted to take the camera oh off. My. It just says Jen. Jen shop. Enjoy, Enjoy Jen. Jen Jennifer shop. This is a brothel. It's a very very wise spirit. But wait. There's more. I have money in my wallet in the room. In the room? Yeah. I'll go get it. Here we go. Money! Money, 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 money. Any women that 
that could be in here? Oh, you know, they, they you know, back then, obviously, they, you know. Yeah. As you pull it out? All right, now we're getting the REM pod going off. There definitely has to be a spirit here, right? If it is a woman, can you please touch this box right here and make it make that sound, okay? And if it is a man and you wanna play cards, please touch that device over there and make it go off. Let's find out who we're talking to. Do you have a Panasonic? Yeah. Let's just see if we can get something on the Panasonic. Panasonic as in being the DR60. If, if you want to know more about the DR60, go check out Kenny Biddle's video. I really suggest you guys check it out. It explains a lot of the flaws with this device. It's way a lot easier than trying to... Is there a man or a woman in this room with us? All right, I'm skipping all the questions and the reviewing because they got nothing. Just wait, it gets so much better. Nothing at all. That's crazy. Cause dude, the vibe that I was getting in here earlier was kind of terrifying. Before we leave this room for the night, just want to make sure, is there anyone here that wants to communicate with us? They asked these questions with the DR60, reviewed the audio, didn't get anything back, and this is their response. It's a good thing we didn't just go and play a game yeah. for 30 minutes and there's no one here. There's no one. So there's no one. What about the rim pod going off? What about all the words that were coming over the obvious? Does all that cancel out now because they didn't get a response on the DR60? Jen wasn't the name of anyone, right, here? Hold on, let me check, I have my notes. Oh, what? Yeah, Who? it is. Who? Jenny. Jenny? Yeah. I miss you, Jenny. They believe that she was buried down below in the basement. <laughs> I bet you everyone that's watching right now is like, you said Jenny earlier. <laughs> we forgot. Why don't we go to Jenny's room? Now this is where things start to ramp up. It's just a theory yeah. that Jen is buried below this room and might also be somewhere where the basement entrance is. This says that this is also the Priscilla Blair room. The prostitute Priscilla has been seen in here and her lover Curly. People here walking and stomping in furniture drug upstairs, which is what I just heard. Only there is no room above you. Sometimes calm, sometimes intense. If you think that you're hearing stuff being drug and footsteps above you and there's no room, there still is a roof. And between the ceiling and the top of the roof, there's crawl space. Maybe not for a human, but for rodents. They're wearing hoodies, jackets. It's, it's obviously cold. And rodents like to nest in those types of areas when it's cold outside. They do it all year long, but they're gonna be more common to be up there when it's cold. Probably not spirits. I think you just got rodents. Can we try Panasonic again? Yeah. I just want to keep trying. I kind of want to make Panasonic as like the baseline test. All right, they're going to be making the DR60 the main tool for their investigating tonight. And because of that, I have some really good stuff to show you. So with the DR60, it is common to have what sounds like screaming and deep and high pitch. But when I was listening to these EVPs, it just sounded too much. So I am going to start off by showing you them reviewing the EVP, and then we'll be going and looking at the original footage. That was, that was a pretty loud scream. Let's look at the original footage now. I cut the same questions that are before and after the scream. Now let's look and see if we can spot any little mistakes in between. You know, right around when that scream happens. Is Priscilla in this room? What do you want us to find tonight? There is a cut where they switch cameras, but everything is staying in sync, or is it? Let's look at that cut. I now have a freeze frame of the frame right before the cut and right after the cut. Now let's take a look and see the difference. In the first one, you'll see that Elton is looking at Corey 
facing towards Corey, and right after the cut, he's looking at the dresser in the mirror. Maybe it's a coincidence. I doubt, I doubt we'll see that happen again. What, so do you think that was Jen below us just screaming, just being like, hey, I'm down here. Let's get closer. Okay. All right, I'm gonna show you a couple of them that for some reason, when the scream happens, there's always a cut every time. All right, now let's take a look at the original. If you need help, can you please scream as loud as you can? Sad. Do you know where you are right now? Right before the next question is asked. Are you in the ground? Are you in the house? Are you nowhere at all? Are you in the house? Or are you nowhere at all? <clears throat> the cut was right after he asked the question. Yes, and over the here. Happens. But I know these right here could just be your typical cuts. Is there anything that we can do to help you? I promise I got something big coming up. Is there anything that we can do to help you? Is there anything that we can do to help you? Are you in this? All right, I'm sure you guys caught that one. As the cut happens, he goes up to scratch his nose. Right after the cut, his hand is back down by his leg. Is there anything that we can do to help you? Are you in this? Within five feet of our voices. Dude, we're getting stuff. Physical room within five feet of our voices. Or are you somewhere slightly further away? We kind of got some. And that one, you'll hear him at the end of it say ending right after the scream. But when you watch the original one, right after the question, they stand up. A lot of that doesn't seem right. Further away. Further away. We kind of got some. <laughs> what? No, it didn't. The motion detector camera, we're not in range of it, just went off. Oh. That's the motion camera. Those little ticks on the motion camera, we're not within range. It just captured something in the room. 100%. Here, move your right arm up and down. So that just captured something. Yeah. As we're over here. Yeah. You're right. It caught something in the room. Could it be this? Ticks on the motion camera. We're not with... What were you hearing? You still hear it? I hear... Yeah, right now. I'm hearing... Or could it have been, Corey? Because right here, he, um... He barely stands up. Barely makes much movement. But I am going to freeze the frame right when the sensor detects him. What were you hearing? You still hear it? I hear it. Yeah, right now. I'm hearing. Oh, we might have just seen the uh, corporate that set that light off. Let's take another look. Did yeah. two EVP sessions no, we know that it works mm -hmm. perfectly. Yeah. Like, I, I'm telling you, I heard it go like... And then I heard it go... And then right after is when we heard the... Why would it build up? What do you think that's the demon or something getting portal? I think there's a portal. So what, you think that that was the portal opening or something coming out of it? 
prove that I'm not insane. Vibration detector. The whole house shakes. Mm -hmm. Well, no. See? Yep. Okay. Ready? Yeah. It never goes off. All right, here we go. This is probably the biggest one of the video with the EVPs and the cuts. Check it out. That was the recording first. So what he's gonna do is he's gonna spin around and point at different directions to find out where the spirit is. And as you heard, right after he asked in the first direction, you can hear that loud scream. Let's watch the original footage. Direction, you are buried. Is it this way? Did you catch it? Let's review. All right, first you are buried. he stands up and I want you to notice the board, the candles and the bed with the bed being behind him. He's about to stick his hand out and start doing the little circle thing. Then the frame cuts and Is somehow he's way? faced the complete opposite direction. Now look at the board the candle, and now the bed is in front of him. The audio is all the same, right? So how is everything turned around? What happened? He was, he started off the sentence, faced the opposite direction. It just doesn't add up. Something is off. Direction, you are buried. Is it this way? This is so rare. And I love that when we first started in the poker room, we got nothing. Yeah. I love that because this proves this even more. All right, here we go. Is there anybody out there? Oh. Is there? anybody out there. Can you say your name? All right, now let's listen back. You can get on the bed. I'll say standing. Okay. Do you want to go to that room though? Is there already camera in there? By myself? It's weird. It kind of has the same feel, dude. It should, yeah, it really does. Okay, just scream if you need my help. At this point, you can see that Corey has gone outside while Elton lays on the bed talking to himself. And somehow the door magically just closes. Corey is gonna explain what he did and he pretty much shows us how that door got closed. That's you coming in, right? Hey, that's you coming in, right? What? Okay, cool, all uh... right. Did you close this? I didn't close anything, dog. I did not move from this bed. Elton, did you close this door? Dude? I did not move from this bed. Dude, I didn't close the door. What door? This one. I never closed this door. This door was shut. Dog, this door was shut. Swear to God. Man, if these cameras weren't so damn difficult to like replay footage on, I would go through that right now. Cause Dude. if that's the case, that's one of the nuttiest things ever. I had to to get around the door, I had to close it a little bit. 
And you said earlier to leave all the doors open. So then I opened it again once I got past it. And then slid through the other door. Oh, I am so happy to know this camera is pointed right at that. Good. You know what's crazy is with all the cameras set up in this house, that one was missed. And but can I show you what I did to the door? Yes. Real quick. Thank you. Look. So to leave? Oh, you went outside outside? Yeah, I went completely outside. Oh, I thought you went in here. No. Oh, why? So obviously I had to go like this. I squeezed right through here. Mm -hmm. Opened it back up, left it like this, went outside. Are you pulled it that wide open? Yes. And with Corey fumbling around so much, you can see how that door at a certain angle if it's touched too much, it's gonna swing closed by itself. It's nothing that can be proven. Did Corey intentionally shut it? <laughs> can't say yes, can't say no. no. In my opinion, it wasn't paranormal. I didn't close it. Cool. Should we say hello? Shall we before we begin? Yeah, this one is the spirits, Priscilla Curly. I'm sorry for what you had to go through. Yo, 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 ho, oh, hey, 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 hi, hi. All right, so there is actually a part two to this. If you guys are interested, it looks like part two is more intense than part one. I mean, part one was just a DR60. All right, well, like, subscribe, on to the next. Watch out there watching and analyzing Willing to expose any time The fakes that hide the wires And even make up a false crime You got Jasco, Chris, Ben, and CJ They fake content all night and day Omar and James the fan Begin.